welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today I want to talk about our own goof proof cards. Now granted, goof proof cards have been around for years and years and years. That's not new. But there are several new additions to the goof proof card lineup that makes it really, really fun and interesting. And we wanted to show you like a little demo where we create something live, um, do something a little bit unusual so that you can kind of see all the different fun ways that you can um, play with goof proof cards. So we have them in several different formats. Um, what I've got here is like a pack of the cards and envelopes. Um, so this is 140 pound. Um, it's got a gorgeous deckle edge on the cards and stuff like this. Um, and they come with matching envelopes that are, are really, really, really nice, um, which can be decorated as well. I'm not doing that part today. But then we've also introduced these um, colored backers. Now granted, you can use these to do a small painting on the top and then use this as a color frame around your work and then, you know, mount it on the card and, and stuff like that. That's not what I'm gonna do today because that would be a little bit too easy. And, you know, if you've watched me for any length of time, you'll know I never go the easy way. So um, we're going to do a little bit of live demo and let you see how I create some stuff. We're also gonna be using a little bit of Mod Podge. Um, I've got here, this is a gloss luster, so I'm gonna use it to kind of accent some areas and also kind of use it as a varnish and a glue because Mod Podge does all those things. This is gonna be a fun little demo where you can kind of uh, watch and learn and uh, we hope that you'll enjoy. This is 140 pounds, so it will totally take any kind of punishment you dish out. We're going to just take this wash. I'm gonna lay in some water here all the way to the edge and just let it have a good time. Now granted, this is what I've been doing a lot of lately. I've been playing around with like abstract washes and just letting color go everywhere because it's kind of like my favorite these days. This will be non-contextual, so forgive. You know, we got some cool colors. We got some June bug going on here. We got some blue bice and we got them in various concentrations, like really, really wet. And then also like almost pure color right out of the tube, right off the brush, um, which looks cool. Rainforest, because that's cool color. I'm just kind of letting it play with its neighbors and some shadow and moon glow in here. And then I got some Dan Smith, not gonna lie. They got some great colors. Um, some of the Primatech ones I'm absolutely addicted to. Leslie, our own Leslie Snipes, who's a wizard, has gotten me into them. If you haven't seen it, make sure to check out the video with Leslie that's on our channel. She is amazing and there's lots of cool stuff to be learned from Miss Leslie and other wonderful staff members that we have here. I've also got some coastal fog, which is an interesting contrast because it's opaque compared to the other transparent colors that we have. So it makes some interesting things happen. Make sure to try that color if you haven't played around with it at all. It's gorgeous, has neat, neat effects. This one's getting a little sloppy. Add in some intensity here letting some good stuff happen all on its own. We're gonna let this dry and move on to a little something else. So we're gonna set this aside and let it do what it's gonna do. We're gonna try something else. So what I've got here is a little scrap piece because I make sure to keep all my scraps and you should too. Some American Journey. And this will be interesting. I mean, this is Kilimanjaro, not American Journey. Um, a little bit of Kilimanjaro natural white, and it will be a really interesting contrast to the, the white white of the Goof Proof card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a similar treatment, but we're gonna play around with the intensity a little bit, um, and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna make a little piece here that we'll cut out, and we'll put some Ooh, yeah, yeah, love that, look at that. So a little bit of June bug in there. Uh, some blue vice, 
letting some cool stuff happen. And this is a 300 pound piece. This is much thicker. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna give it some presents. It's gonna sit up on this card when we cut this piece out. Um, and it'll be really, really interesting to see how this looks. We got some color stuff happening here. And I'm getting really, really heavy with the color here in contrast to those lighter treatments that we're doing right there. Because what I want to do is um, we're going to pop some hand lettering on top of this. And I really, really want it to stand out and have some presence to it. Um, ooh, yeah. Yes, please. Love that. Um, and... Uh, we want the, the color to really, really sing here and do some fun stuff. So, and if we don't like where that's going, we can move it. And you know, I don't know exactly what shape this will end up being exactly because it depends on how this all dries out and stuff. Uh, we will see. But we're going to set this aside because that's more than ample for what we need for this card. And we'll just let it dry and come back to that. So we have that piece over there. Now, this isn't completely dry, but it's dry enough to where we can start playing around with composition and stuff like that and see where we want to go. Um, I am going to actually have this wrap around and I kind of want to create like just a color band over this so I'm gonna cut this piece I'm not going to use the full sheet just make sure I got it the size that I want yeah that looks cool now what I, what I don't like is this kind of super rectilinear shape with all this organic stuff that's going on so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of deck a little little bit and we'll lay it in there on top of that so I kind of know where I want it to go now what I want to do is play around with a little bit of this decal edge and kind of highlight that a little bit more. So we're going to take out our fine tag and play with this. So let's really go crazy. This is super, super rich gold. What I want to do is just kind of I like this deco so you can really see it. And what we'll do is I'm making these things they call snail trails. Or it's like little metallic trails through the color. And maybe some of these will get lost under that banding. I don't know. Doesn't matter. air dryer around here somewhere don't we? Mm -hmm. we did. So we don't have to sit here through our retirement.
Okay, what I got here is a roll of ATG, and I'm just using it for actually just a template. I'll do a little line work on this. Kind of punch it up a little. This is a Sharpie oil marker and extra fine. It's great because the color just has a tendency to pop off whatever background you apply it to. And it applies evenly and consistently. It's just really, really pretty. And you get a a nice even line. Okay. Yeah, about more. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to collage this this piece onto the top of this, and then we'll do a little bit of hand lettering on top of this, and um, put all of the pieces together. I'm actually going to use a little bit of Mod Podge on here to hold this in place, glue it down where I want it to go, but I'm not even going to try to make this go across this fold. It's too much bending, so we'll just cut it off. And so take a little bit of Mod Podge here, and we're going to use this on this edge as a glue. Mod Podge is completely water washable, so you don't have to worry about, you know, I mean, well, I wouldn't use my best brushes with it, but you don't have to worry about it, like, not coming off and washing out of your brushes. So you can actually, like, lay this on pretty heavily, and, uh, and it'll, it'll wash right out. I use my, um, synthetic brushes all the time with this and have had no problem whatsoever so don't worry I'll lay that in there get a good coat on it And if this were me working at home in the studio, I would let this layer dry before I move on. But since we're on the verge of boring you to tears, we're going to move on and let that dry for just a second. And then we'll do a little bit of uh, hand lettering on this part. do here is a couple things. I'm going to put 
douse the back in plenty of Mod Podge. We're going to use that as our glue here because Mod Podge is not only, you know, you can use it like a varnish, you can use it for collage to adhere things, it's a glue, it's a whole bunch of different things. So like this gloss, we could actually put it on in a couple of places to function as a highlight even to make certain areas of contrast where like maybe it's matte in some places and um, uh, shiny in others. So get kind of a feel. And actually that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna, now that we've got this down here, I'm gonna actually almost like varnish this. It's gonna look terrible right now, but when it dries, it's gonna look awesome. And you'll see what I mean. Um, so this will have kind of an extra presence about it when it's dry. I mean, granite looks like we're just smearing milky junk all over it right now. But this has a lot of, of functions. This is way worth the money, folks. So just a couple bucks for some Mod Podge, and you can do a ton of things. So make sure to check it out when you get a chance. We are going to be doing a video about just Mod Podge later on today. So um, whenever it comes out, Make sure to check it out because it, um, it's, it's a really great product and I'm glad that we finally added it. Now granted, this looks ugh, right now, but have faith. Um, it will come out great. So we're going to let this dry and it will kind of get used to itself. And we'll come back and show you a final shot um, at the end. But the point is that goof proof cards have a whole bunch of different features um, now that they didn't use to a whole bunch of different ways that you can use them um, spend some time get to know them they're uh, got a whole bunch of cool things that you can do with them um, and they're a great value so you're not having to hand cut everything yourself and and, and stuff so this um, is really really handy great for the holidays uh, if you're interested in making your own cards for friends and loved ones so Check these out, um, goof-proof cards right here at Cheap Joe's. We're sure you will enjoy.